What's going on guys? All right, today I am going to make a video showing you the easiest way to put together the best fitness 10 foot trampoline and enclosure set. Let's get going. All right, first you're gonna wanna do your parts check and make sure you got everything. So these right here are the leg base rails. Next you got your vertical leg extensions and you'll need six of them which i counted we got those next you got your your three top rails and your three top rails with leg sockets so we got all of those also before you're putting all this together, you're going to want to wear some gloves so you don't pinch yourself or cut yourself. You're going to want to make sure you have six of the lower frame tube with foam. That's these guys. The ones with the, the longer parts coming out of the foam. And then six of the new upper frame tube with foam. One trampoline mat stitched with triangle rings. One frame pad. Weep, weep. One enclosure netting. Booyah. These were all, these uh, were in separate bags here, but you're gonna have 12 carriage bolts, 12 nuts, and 12 washers, and they're all together. I already counted them, got 12. And also, you are going to have 60 of these springs here, which counted those two, 30 in each box. Also for the springs, you're gonna have one spring loading tool and also you're going to have one wrench and 12 of these spacers here all right let's see about getting this together now a little windy Laying my frame mat away Looks like it might rain too, dang it. But, good day to put a trampoline together. Then, you're gonna lay everything out like this. So you're gonna lay the top rail with sockets, which is these ones, and the top rail. Top rail with socket. Top rail, top rail with socket. You're gonna put the leg bases there and there you're going to connect these leg bases with the vertical leg extensions like i did right there you can take this guy and put her in put her in like so all right and that's what those are going to look like you're done, so you'll have three sections with those guys assembled. So now this next part, we're going to uh, be doing the top rail with the leg socket assembly. And it says you need two people to do this, but unfortunately I'm doing it by myself. So let's see how I can do this. I'm sure I could uh, prop it up somewhere here. Probably gonna try to prop it up right over here. Just lean her up on this guy. Let's see how we could do this. Okay, so I did put them together. I connected that to that after having those bases cleaned up. And then I took this guy. These are the ones like right here. I can't remember what they're called. They're the ones with no... Uh, 
little extra hook in part. So at this point, you're just kind of making the circle by sticking them in the right place and it'll end up being a circle. Let's see. All right. So you don't need two people. So now I got that all together, on to the next part. Okay, next, after I have the mat laid out in the middle, you can open up your screws, your, your uh, springs, 60 of them. You're gonna go around. There's two different sides. The wider hook, the tighter, more curved in hook. The curved in one is gonna go on these triangles attached to the the um, actual mat and the long hooks, the more open ones, are going to end up in here. Okay, so this part was hard to film and show by myself, but uh, when you're putting these springs in, you're going to start it kind of like a clock. So all the way over there is 12 o'clock, 3, 6, 9. So you're gonna start with one, six, three, nine. Then go back and forth and tighten them and tighten them and just go around in that pattern, kind of like you're uh, doing lug nuts. So you're gonna put that hook in there. And you're gonna pull it until it gets in there. I'm not gonna to attempt to do this one-handed because I don't wanna lose my eye. All right, took a little bit of adjusting because for a while it's going to seem like they're not going in the right spots. But once you keep getting them tighter and tighter, like at one point they're kind of facing that way and you realize that one's supposed to be there and you're just slowly adjusting it. And there we go. Next thing uh, you're supposed to do is put this foam mat on all the way around. And, um, I already did that, it was very windy. And they had these little strings and you're gonna tie it, come from the top, around, tie there, and then you take those, tie it into the triangle, and you do it on every support leg. All right, next, you're gonna grab two of these spacers these buggers, two of your carriage bolts and washers and nuts. I'm gonna take these off, boom, down there. I'm gonna grab this guy, the one with the two on it. Yeah, leg support. The, or I mean, yeah, the lower frame tube, lower frame tube. And then you are going to take Oops, but you want the washer out of it. Boom. Boom. Put the spacers on the bolts. that you are going to line them up there you're gonna put the washer first then the screw sorry it's hard to do with one person you take the little wrench that came with it Aye! you I'm just gonna tighten these buggers up like so so they're good you don't want to put your hand in between there when you're tightening it, so just hold it like that. You're also going to want to be careful when using this because it's actually kind of uh, flimsy. But I'm not saying it was bad, it's just uh, I warped it a bit. So, I mean, you could easily find something else other than this. So when you're done tightening them, that's what they're going to look like. All right, now I got the net out here. I already got one in. But you're gonna take these guys, put the 
plastic part there. You're gonna find these sleeves on the neck. You're gonna put that part, that part in first through the sleeve, and then you'll connect it to that. All right, so you're getting the gist of this. Got that in there, that in there. You're gonna take these little hooks here. You are going to put them. Ah, sorry. Again, shaky. Ew. Okay. Like that. Oy. And there you have it. I took a lot of breaks in between doing this. And honestly, I might have put the net on backwards. But as long as it keeps little buggers from falling out. So there it is. I hope that video made sense. If you need any help, leave comments. And um, that's that. Sure, you won't need to, but give me a like and a subscribe, please. And let me know how I did. My first how to do video. All right, guys. Have a good one. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, take care. Have a good one. God bless.